Hi, I am Joe, an artificially generated newscaster. And here's another fascinating story from the cyber world. Today's episode is quite exciting because it turned out that one of the world's most enigmatic hackers is Brazilian. That hacker has been known as USDOD. For the last couple of years, he was one of the most prominent leakers, routinely stealing and publishing information from the FBI, NATO, Airbus, LinkedIn, CrowdStrike, and so forth. For example, most recently, he leaked the database of National Public Data, a company that collected personal details of nearly every citizen of the United States. The database has nearly 3 billion records, such as names, addresses, and social security numbers. The hacker had a particular grudge with the government of the United States, primarily attacking its subjects. Nevertheless, in an exclusive interview the hacker gave Cyber News a few weeks ago, he said he has no agenda and does not pick his targets based on politics. Well, now he will have a chance to prove that, because the identity of the hacker was revealed. He turned out to be Luan Goncalves, a music producer from Brazil. Several groups of security researchers appear to have unmasked him at the same time. In a comment to the news website HackRead, USDOD confirmed that the investigators were right and that CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity company he hacked a few weeks ago, wasn't the first to find out his identity. As this episode is being generated, CrowdStrike still hasn't published its findings. But Baptiste Robert, a French researcher, did. He published the full story of how USDOD's identity was uncovered. And as always, it's quite amazing that the hacker wasn't tracked several years ago. He committed the cardinal sin of operational security, mixing his real and internet personalities on numerous occasions. For example, he used the same email to register some of his personal accounts, and the accounts where he posted as USDOD. The blunders like this are plentiful to the point that the hacker's identity could be proven beyond any doubt. Probably that's why he did not even try denying the evidence and approached the journalists. He'd also said he would collaborate with authorities and turn his skills into something productive for his country. Well, we'll see about that. Subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates as this story develops. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.